Season two begins. And can you believe it? We made it into League One after such a terrible first three, four months in season one. I don't know how we did it. Actually, no, I do. The squad suddenly got so much better with all the bonus stats, the just general improvement of each young player specifically. Bringing in Wheatley from the Youth Academy changed our defence. The signing of Nyland and Cargill. Yeah, we really did do very well in the midway stage of the season and we, we were able to carry some momentum. And now here we are in League One. Brand new kits. There will be some new signings. We're going to be selling some players. But also, I've got a huge plan I'm going to tell you about going into Season 3. I'm just going to give you a little heads up about it in the next few minutes. But first, we start off with our finances. So right now, we've got six million in the bank. That's not too bad, is it? That's quite a nice chunk of money that we can spend on the squad. But I will not be spending every penny of it. You will see why. Board expectations. Let's go through these. I actually haven't looked. So, um... Let's have a, have a little look and see what we've got to do this season. So short-term youth development, sign two players. Oh my God, it's the same one again, pretty much. Defensive positions. Oh, I wonder if my youth academy players are old enough now. Oh, okay. That's two new players that will be joining up as soon as they're 16, of course. Um, okay, long-term within two seasons, have at least two players from the youth academy signed in the first season. Play at least 30% of the games in the next season. It's, I mean, it sounds so confusing, but basically get some Youth Academy players in your team and play them. Brand exposure, 10 games without defeat. That's pretty easy. No continental success and low priority in domestic success. Avoid relegation. I think we'll, we will avoid relegation. I think our squad's only going to get better, really, isn't it? Uh, reach the round of 16 stage in the FA Cup. Long term. Within two seasons, finish mid-table. Financially, we still have the same long-term objective. We're 12% of the way there. Not too bad. I think, yeah, I mean, youth development is still a high priority for us, but it isn't really. I feel like a lot of our players that we've managed to get into the team in the last 12 months have been, I think, good enough for the rest of the series. A lot of these players will just continuously grow and become superstars so I think from now on, it won't be an absolute priority for me. But of course, if any Youth Academy players do come through, I will take a look. Let's see. Are my young players old enough? Oh, Sutton is ready. Oh, but Lacey isn't. Okay, but Sutton can join up with the squad right now. So we're going to promote him. And we have to wait a little bit longer for Kai Lacey. Hopefully before Christmas, we'll be able to get him into the team because he will be a good player for us. Although my transfer plans might hamper his growth a little bit. You know I'm looking for centre midfielders. So what we'll do is we will put Sutton into the team. Oh my God, what an improvement. It's glorious. A 62 rated left back. Love that. I've just seen as well, Garbit's on international duty. That's no surprise. But Staunton, what? He's been called up to Northern Ireland. That is amazing. Good luck, Staunton. Nyland, of course, will be called up as well. But that means King should probably go on the bench because Clancy is going. He, he is going to be sold for sure. I'm thinking of replacing both these goalkeepers with one really good backup keeper. You, you just don't need three goalkeepers. We'll keep right. We'll probably keep hold of top for another season. We'll see. Uh, Cross will keep. Corbin or Corbine. Mm, I don't know. I feel like we can do a lot better. I don't like the fact he's five foot five. I'm sorry if you're five foot five in real life, but as a striker that's going to play up top on his own, I just don't think he's got enough height there, enough physicality. So we'll be keeping scale ahead of him and maybe we'll sell Corbine or Corbin. Simmons, will keep him for sure. Nisbet, of course, is here to stay. French, probably will go down to the reserves. We'll bring in another attacking midfielder. Cook staying, King staying, and Gray is staying. So the majority of the players you see here are staying. I'm not completely replacing the team. I don't want to make 10 signings every season. So we will be bringing in at least, I would say, four or five players, but no more than that. And of course, one or two players will be leaving as well. So, plans for the team. 100%, my main focus is central midfield. Glover and Stephenson 
They've been doing okay. Captain Stephenson will be dropped, though. He'll go to the bench or the reserves. We will be bringing in a central midfielder. Left-footed, hopefully. You guys know who I've been looking at. A certain Arsenal player, Patino. I'd love to build the team around him. And, um, yeah, we'll bring in someone that can play next to Patino. Someone a little bit older that brings a little bit of experience in there. We will look at free agents, of course. In fact... Patino might be in the free agents. He only had four months remaining on his Arsenal deal when we discovered him. So he might be a free agent. I will have to take a look. But uh, the rest of the team, I'm pretty happy with. I would like to bring in another attacking player that can play on the right and through the middle and even as a striker. So preferably a left-footed attacking player that can play right wing, striker, cam, or even on the left if I need him to and central midfielders, and, and probably a spare centre-back as well, to be fair. Um, a backup right-back is probably a good call as well. We don't have a second right-back, so there you get kind of my plans. And you can see the home kit. Are you ready for the reveal, guys? The new kits for this season. Let's go ahead and launch a game here. We do have a pre-season tournament, uh, a European International Cup. We've got Venezia up first. This is the new design for the home kit. Oh, isn't it beautiful? No war. We are supporting the no war movement, of course. Who Who is for war? Except from, I'm not going to say his name. Um, let me go ahead and show you the second kit, which is all black with some nice red detailing there. And then the third kit, we are really going with that Ukrainian color scheme. I love it. And no to war, guys. And stop war all over the, the shirt as well. Uh, huge shout out to FIFA Pro Mods. Thank you so much for your help. They look absolutely amazing. So uh, let's go ahead and kick off this preseason tournament. We, we, we will, of course, simulate it because, I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's only a preseason tournament. We can get about one and a half million, I think. Oh, my God. We've lost 3-1. Yeah, about 1.5 million is up for, up for grabs. But we've lost the first game, which is a little bit of a shame. Now, before the next game, I think it's vital that we get in the free agents and make sure we don't miss anyone because, God, imagine if Patino is there and he's gone. What is going on with the graphics there? <laughs> Staunton is apparently completely pitch black with blonde hair. Okay, then. Right, so I've taken the last kind of 10, 15 minutes off camera to go through a lot of players, a lot of players, hundreds of free agents, and I have found some really interesting targets. So you guys know I need another goalkeeper. I have found Sibois. Sibois? I think that's how you say it. Six foot four French goalkeeper. Perfect. As a backup, real face as well. Extra bonus in the free agents. I mean, very lucky indeed. We've also got a central midfield pairing of Hindman and Patino is in the free agents. So I will 100% try and sign him up. I'm sure his wage will be a little bit cheeky, but we will get a face mod for him as well. Hindman's got a face, which I thought was good. Uh, and by the way, when you're in pre-season, for some reason on PC, sometimes the graphics do go weird. It looks darker. It's kind of weird, isn't it? But he looks like a very, very good central midfielder. Could honestly partner up with Patino very nicely indeed. We've also got Antoine Hackford. This, this is a guy I was looking at last season. And funnily enough, he's in the free agents as well. Absolutely rapid, could be perfect back up to Hartman or maybe a first team striker would also need a face for him. Um, up next, we've got Sam Hughes. I believe he is ex Leicester. So he could be a great backup centre back that we could sign. No idea how much he's going to cost us though. Uh, backup right back, as I mentioned, can also play as a centre back. We've got Regan Poole. Could be really good for us. He plays for Lincoln City at the moment. So we would, of course, need to spend money to get him. And I found Theo Corbianu. I don't know how to say it. I will learn it. He's got a real face in game. And he is exactly what I mentioned. A right sided player that can play at cam and probably play at striker as well. He looks absolutely insane. And he's got a release clause of 3.8 million. So it's expensive but we can get our man, we can get him into the team and he could be one for the future for sure. So I think whilst I might not sign all of these guys, maybe I will. I mean, I've got a use for all of these players. I guess what I would have to do is sell more players. So 
Where do we begin? Um, I think the free agents should be a priority because they can go at any point. And the one player that I really want is Patino. The issue I'm going to have, I don't know how much of a wage to give. So I am scouting them all. Is it worth waiting? I don't think it is. I think I'll miss out. Oh, it's risky though. What if it what if it doesn't go through? Okay. Patino, approach to sign. There is a face mod available. Uh, I have found one, but unfortunately it uses it, it uses Nylon's face. What what is the odds of that? A player that I've already got. My god, I look hideous in game <laughs> and in real life. But yeah, so I, I need to ask the original modder to change the ID so it won't be taking Nylon's face. Honestly, there are over 23,000 players in FIFA. And the one player the guy used happened to be a player that I signed. What are the odds? So if we want to get Charlie Patino, it will be a crucial squad role. That's fine by me. We're going to build the team around him, really. He wants a five-year deal. I hope he offers a wage. Yes! And it's really cheap. Look at that. I, you can't see the... How do I get out of the way here? 12,500 signing bonus, 8,300 if he scores five goals. I would like to remove that, to be honest. Um, and I'm happy to put him on a higher wage because that is so cheap. I'm going to offer him 2K. Two grand and 10,000 signing bonus. What do we think? Is Charlie Patino going to accept that? Let's go. Please accept it. Oh, we've just signed Patino. As easy as that. An Arsenal youngster that looks great for the future has just joined MGH United and he goes straight into the team. So for now, I think Stefansson goes over to that right side and then we bring in Patino. 68 rated. Oh my God, he's an all-rounder. He's six foot, left footed. Oh, he's perfect. He's actually perfect. And you can see I applied his face mod and then generated a picture for him but then realized, oh, my goalkeeper looks like Patino as well. So we, we'll fix that. It, it might be ready for the next episode, but for now, he's going to have a generic face in-game. But Patino is the first signing of this window. Oh, my God, I'm so excited about that. Okay, and then next, I think I might go for this Theo guy. I know I'm very top-heavy, and I've got a lot of great attacking players and less good players defensive players but man if I was to lose out on this Canadian beast six foot two as well he's he's gonna be a real force to be reckoned with going forward I reckon he could be he could be so good for us where does he play though I've got Staunton on the right so that doesn't work Joyce on the left but I don't really want to use him on the left so it's Garbit or it's Hartman do I do I convert Theo Corby Corbianu Corbinu? I have no idea how to say it. I think it's a bit French, right? Some Canadians speak French or it's a French region. So it could be you say it in a French way, but I could convert him to striker. Would he be better than Hartman? I think he probably would be actually. Oh, it's, it's a no brainer, guys. It will be the most expensive signing we make. But if it means I can't afford another right back when I can get away with using Wheatley there or whatever, or if it means I can't sign Hughes, then so be it. You need goals, okay? You need goals, which we might get a lot more of if we have a player as good as him. I'm just going to do it. 3.8 million. Oh, that is so much money. For League One, that is crazy. But it's the only way that we're going to improve this squad drastically. We do not want to be in a relegation scrap, that's for sure. And look, Patino's shirt is on the wall, the new number eight. Love that. Okay, Theo, would you take important... No, he wants crucial. Okay, that's fair enough. Is he playing in Argentina? I think he is, isn't he? Contract length, four. Should we try five? He'll take a five-year deal. I mean, it's a no-brainer again. Don't need a release clause. Oh, no. I have to offer him a wage. What rating is he going to be, though? I mean, mid-60s? If I was almost able to get Patino on, let's say, 1,500, surely I can get Theo on something similar. But is it is it worth losing out on him? 
Maybe I should give him 2,000 and 10 grand, same as Patino. I think it's a good starting point. Let's give it a go. Come on. Oh, I was way off. Okay, well, the good news is he has a release clause, which I know I can afford. But clearly, the wage was way off. That's a shame. Okay, well, if I get him, I won't go for Hackford. So we'll just leave him out of it for now. I think next we go for Hindman. We both... We both? We all know that both my central midfielders are not good enough. So having Patino and Hindman start together could be really good. Yeah, let's do it. Second signing about to get underway here in my office. We've got so much money to spend. This shouldn't be a problem. Important? Would he take that? Nope, he wants crucial as well. I feel really bad for Stephenson because he has actually been a good player for us. But it's, it's definitely something we need to do here. We're signing someone with experience. He's 26 years old. He wants a three-year deal. We'll go with a four. Meet me halfway. Thank you very much. Don't need a release clause. Or he wants a significant amount of money. But he's, a, he's older. So it kind of makes sense. He wants 83,000 for 25 appearances. I'm going to remove that. I'm willing to give you the three grand. And I will up my signing bonus here to 40,000. He's going to want three and a half, isn't he? No? <laughs> I was willing to go up to four grand a week for him. That would have been still, I think, a very good deal for a player that is, just let me remind you, free. He's a free agent. We are doing insane business. That is two brand new midfielders that I haven't paid a penny for. Just upfront signing bonuses and their weekly wage. And he is 67 rate. I mean, he's brilliant. There it is. Two brand new central midfielders. Patino is by far the better choice or the better player. But Hindman brings that bit of balance in there. And uh, I think he's going to do really well for us. So that's honestly a really, really good start. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Staunton loan offer. Are you kidding me? A loan to buy as well. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. How much are they offering to pay? I don't even care. Blocked. Get out of here, Feyenoord. No chance. Okay, and the assistant manager says, don't forget to use substitutes. Yeah, whatever. We're going into our next game now against Empoli. Okay. Um. Right. 3-0 win. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, look how dark this box image is as well. What the hell is that? What a weird bug. Let's get to the next one now. We've got Genoa. And we've got... Oh, we're still missing players. But Patino and Hindman are both going to be starting this game. Here we go. A win here will put us through to the semis. No! And we're out. Unless, maybe... We've still made it through somehow with one win. I doubt it very much. I think we're going to be out. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunate. We got £344,000. I mean, it's not it's not terrible. It's a little bit of cash. But clearly, that little tournament there with the, with the teams we had up against us, they, they were a little bit too good. But that's fine. We're a League One side. Just about. <laughs> okay, what do I do now? I'm still waiting for a couple of scout reports to come back. Okay, we get a, an offer here for top and for Hartman. Oof, it's a good offer, but it's not one I'm interested in. However, with top, yeah, I mean, he's 27, 58 rated. He's not at League 1 level. He was barely at League 2 level, honestly. He's not great. So I think it makes sense to let him go to the Mighty Lions. <laughs> And uh, we'll take the money and run. It means we save a little bit of on a little bit of money on the wages as well. We are starting to get loads of offers coming in. Top is gone. That was very quick. And now we have an offer for Knowles. He is an okay keeper. He's not that bad. But again, just not the level I'm looking for. We're getting rid of a couple of these players that have been here from the start, but just haven't cut it. Just have not been quite good enough. But that is another bit of money added to the transfer budget. Should he go? And there it is. That is done. And we have now got an offer for Clancy. Oh, 
This is going to be a lovely moment. Let me just... Ugh. Clancy, 220,000. Bang, see you later. Sorry, Andrew, you suck. You're terrible. Absolutely awful. One of the worst players in the team for sure. And now we've got some scout reports as well. How good is Hackford? I do need to see this. How high rated is he? 66. And Sibois is only 67. I thought he'd be a little bit better than that. But he's worth 1.1 million. I mean, it, it's silly not to, really. Um, we'll just delegate to sign. Two and a half to 4,000. Um, I mean, I, yeah, I, I would be willing to pay that. So I think that's a, a good start. See, with Hackford, I don't know if he's actually going to be that great. Let's have a look at... Oh, okay. So shooting 55 to 61. But of course, we can work on that. Look at Hackford's technical ability. Just 50. His passing is 39. Nah, this is the guy we want. And he's worth 2.5. Yeah, that's that's an easy decision. We've got to go back in for Theo. Oh my God, he's on 4,000 right now. No wonder he wasn't interested. <laughs> I offered him, what, 2,000? Yeah, I was way off. So we'll go crucial. That's fine. Four-year deal. Yeah, it's fine. At that kind of money, he's not going to stay on that kind of money. That's for sure. It's going to get more and more. Oh, we've, we've changed the shirt on the wall there. We've now got Wheatley. Uh, he doesn't need a release clause. That's fine by me. And I will offer him what he's on. That makes sense. 4,000. And I will match it with a 30,000 signing bonus. Please be enough. Please. I want Theo in my team. Get in there. Come on. Oh, I'm happy with that. That is a really, really good signing. What rating is he, though? I want to say at least 68. Something like that. Yes, he is 68. Oh, he's, he's so good. He is really, really good. He goes straight onto the bench there, but I'm actually tempted to play him as a striker. I think I should. I think I should train him as a striker. He's got the five-star weak foot. He's six foot two. He's pacey. He's relatively um, physical as well with the, the good stamina and the decent strength. If we compare him with... Where's he gone? Hartman. Yeah, look at the difference. Look, Hartman was great in League Two. He got us quite a few goals, but there's levels. Look at the difference in the stats. It's just shooting. And that I can improve really quickly. So I think it makes complete sense to play Theo as a striker. He gets a minus four right now. What if I go left striker? Or what if I put him as a center forward? Let's give it a go. Drop Carbit. <laughs> Carbit. Drop Garbit a little bit. And then see if I can get him as a centre forward. He gets a minus two. I mean, that's fine. See if I can get him up a little bit higher. Not that it really matters. Okay, a minus two instead is not a problem. And that means we can bring Simmons back onto the bench. Let me just rearrange what we've got going on here. It helps me in my head decipher what I need to do. Yeah, so we can sell Corbyn. Corbin. We've got scale on the reserves now. Keep Cross, keep Glover, keep, keep Stephenson. Clancy's going to go, so that'll leave that. So we'll get rid of Corbine, Clancy. Oh, I do need a right back. Yeah, I do. I need to bring in a right back. Damn, it's okay. I didn't want to sign too many players, but it, it's becoming very clear we need to. And now I, I can see why the lower league teams do this. You often see lower league teams making... 10 changes to their squad. It doesn't happen in the Premier League that often, but it does in lower league football. So I, I think we've just got to, to really push the boat out, so to speak, and get some really good players in. Let's go ahead and change some training drills then. So Theo is going to be a striker. Do I go centre forward, then striker? How am I going to do this? What is the best way? 33 weeks, what? 79 weeks to turn into a striker. Okay, I guess the best thing I can do is inverted winger, which is going to boost that shooting really quickly, and then go striker, maybe? That just seems a little bit stupid, if you ask me. I, I cannot believe it's going to take that long. That makes no sense. Okay, maybe we go center forward, then striker. 
Yeah, I get... Mm, oh, I don't know what to do here. It will speed up. It will go quicker. I reckon that will actually be about 40 weeks. Something like that. Because when a player is in good form, when he's happy, it does move faster. So, striker. I'm just going to do it. Even if it takes a little while, his stats are good as a striker. Regardless, it's just that finishing is going to let him down a little bit. So we'll see. We'll give it a go. He's wearing the number 11 shirt, by the way. Uh, I have changed quite a few player numbers. Garbit is our new number 10. He will be wearing the number 10 shirt. Obviously, Patino got number 8. Uh, Hindman's got number 15. I've also given Nyland the number 1 shirt. He is our new number 1. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. Clancy is gone. Nice. And we've got a transfer offer from Rangers for Wheatley. Yeah, get out of here. No chance. And look at this. A new goalkeeper. Wow. Only 2,500. The problem is he wants to be a crucial first team player. That is definitely an issue. Um, I don't think it actually matters too much. Even if I only keep him for a season or two, he's my backup keeper. If he gets upset with not playing, it is what it is. Maybe I play him in the cup. I'm just going to do it. Two and a half K. It's a no brainer. Four signings. Right winger, basically an attacker, two midfielders and a goalkeeper. I think right back and then I think we're good to go. I think that is probably going to be enough. I would like to play a game in this episode. When's our next game? We've got Bolton. Okay, and do we have scout reports back? No, we don't. We have to wait a little bit longer. So we will wait to see if Paul is going to be good enough. I think he will be. He'll be our brand new right back, back up right back. And the, th the fact is he can play as a centre back as well. So... We're probably going to be okay. Oh, there we go. The scout report is done. Okay, let's get rid of these emails. Let's go ahead and take a peek at their ratings. We have 65 and 66. I mean, it's a no-brainer to go with Paul. He's six foot, so he's tall enough to play as a centre-back for sure. But also, he's good enough to be a right-back. He's not the quickest, so we'll work on that for sure. Let's go ahead and approach to buy Paul from Lincoln City. We've got enough money, and this should be the final signing that we make. For now, at least. Things can happen, of course. Uh, what I will do is try a swap. Jeez, look at the colour. Again, it's just completely bugged out there. Uh, do I swap a centre-back? Mm, no. Full-backs? No. Strikers? We've got Corbyn. Corbin. Corbyn. Um... Cross, Simmons. Oh, this is a tough one, actually. Uh, French. I'm not going to be using French. I think I might get rid of him. Although we don't have another cam. Hmm. Although we do have another cam. We have the... What's his name? Lacey, the Youth Academy player. I could convert him to a cam. I'm going to go with Billy French here. And I'm going to offer 700,000. So we're roughly at that million mark. Are they interested in Billy French? No. They want 1.4 million. It's a bit pricey. We'll go 1.25. One and a quarter. No, they want the, the 145. They say they're non-negotiable, but come on. We can save 50 grand. It does add up. It really does. And they'll, they'll take it. Non-negotiable. Yeah. Okay. Sure. What a load of rubbish. Let's go ahead and negotiate the wage. And then we will jump into our first game of the season. He wants an important squad role. Uh, rotation. He wants important. <sighs> I mean, okay. For now, that's fine. Give me a four-year deal then. That will take you to 28 years old. You see, I'm not just signing really young players. I could go for an 18-year-old, right? I'm going for some players that are kind of mid-20s. I think that's a, it's a good balance to have. We'll accept that. No release clause. And then the wage. I mean, I guess I'll put him on 3K. It's a little bit more than what he's on now. And I will chuck in 10,000 as a bonus. Come on. This should be our final signing. Done deal. A reasonable offer. Come on. It was a good offer. So we'll leave Sam Hughes and Hackford there. It might not be a bad idea to get Hackford in at some point, but it seems a bit overkill, doesn't it? 
So with Paul joining up, I can drop King to the reserves and Paul goes onto the bench like that. So we have a center back and then also a center back slash right back. Yeah, I think that's the best thing we could do. Um, I think I might have Glover on the bench instead of French. I'd rather put Nisbet as a cam. Yeah, I think that's good. And then we still need to sell Goodwin. In the first team, we have our brand new striker, Theo. We've got Joyce, Garbit, Staunton, Hindman and Patino making their first competitive start as well as the midfield duo. Sutton at left back, the youth academy prospect with Captain Cargill. He's going to be captain this season. Wheatley, Huggins and Nyland. We will be bringing on some substitutes, of course, to make their debuts as well. Bolton playing five at the back. Could be tough to break them down, but this is our first real task. Get a good start to the League One season. I cannot go on a five-episode losing streak. I can't. No changes to the stadium. We are still at United Arena, and that is because, as I mentioned earlier, I have big plans for season three. All I'm going to say is I don't want to ruin it too much, but this will be the last year at this stadium. This season is the final season at the United Arena. In season three, we will not be here. Basically, I have plans to construct a brand new stadium and we're going to have to play somewhere else for a couple of seasons whilst that is being constructed. And I'm also going to limit my resources as if we were putting money into a stadium. I know it's not in the game, but I'm trying to create some stories here. It's a bit of fun. We're going to have a brand new stadium coming in the next few seasons. And uh, I'm super excited to reveal that, basically. Am I on the wrong camera angle? I'm going to have to go on to co-op. I think the camera mod is broken since I updated FIFA. So bear with me while I fix that. But for now, let's get into the game. This new kit looks absolutely awesome. I'm so glad we've got white text on the back now. It was a little bit difficult to see the black. Oh my God, what is that throw? Here is Sutton, first time using him. The new number three, Joyce inside to Patino. Future captain, probably. He's gonna be a huge player for us. I'm actually gonna give this back to Patino now. And I'm gonna have a shot. Oh, oh, it's actually gone in. It was a rubbish shot. It was absolutely rubbish. The keeper has tipped it onto the post. I can't believe that. Well, I, I cannot wait to get a face mod working for Patino. He has scored his first goal for the club. Oh, that is shocking. How is that going in? There's no way. It's straight at the keeper. That has to be one of the worst save attempts I've seen in a long time. 1-0 already. I can't tell you how good it feels to have a proper left back. A whole season of just having nothing there. <laughs> it's just a rubbish left back. Here we're, in, we're in again here. It's Hindman into Theo. Go on. Oh, I tried to hit it with his right. He is obviously left footed. So I, I do need to try and get him on that left foot. That would have been an unbelievable start. Imagine if I got a 2-0 lead. Bolton not looking so good right now. Oh, I think I've jinxed it. Oh, Nyland. You absolute legend. The legend from Wembley in the penalty shootout. He has saved us. That would have been the equaliser. Onto the bar. What a save that is. Okay, the corner's going to come in. They've taken it short. And that was a complete waste of time. Bolton will get another corner. Are they going to go short again? Yes. They get the cross in this time, but I should win that. Oh, no. No. Get to that. Oh, no. Get a tackle in. Ooh, Patino almost giving away a pen there. Look at him go, though. He's not the quickest player, but once he gets going, that's not bad, is it? It's pretty good pace. I'm going to play it backwards into Joyce. Now through into the new number 10, Garbit. Oh, no. Should still get there. Joyce picks it up into the American Hindman, and he's lost it. Okay, well, at least we haven't conceded. That's a goal. Yeah. And there it is, Delfonso. Delfuenzo, is that how you say his name? It's been a while since I had to say his name. He's been around the block, you know, this guy. He's at Bolton now, and he's just equalised against the run of play, really. Although, is it? They did have a, a good few moments. Yeah, just too much space there between Cargill and Sutton, but that's okay. It's going to be a long season. This 
first game will not define the season. We've got a long way to go, and we can still win this game, obviously. There goes Sutton with the overlap. What's your delivery like, mate? Oh, it's not bad. But those kind of crosses haven't been working for me at all in this series so far. So maybe not the best idea. They could be through again here. They are. Sutton testing your pace here. Nice. And there's Wheatley to clear up. And that is going to be half time here at the United Arena. First game of the season. Two goals already. But split evenly between us. Oh, my God. The space down the left side here. My right. Staunton's getting back. Oh, he's done so well there. Go, Huggins. You might as well get forward again. Just run down this right side. It's a good run. Got players making runs in the middle as well. I'm going to pick out Garbit here. Through for Joyce. Oh, I think he's offside. I mean, it's a good finish, but it is not going to count. That is a shame. If only he held his run for just a second longer, he would have been fine. But rightly called offside. I mean, they can't get it wrong, really. Oh, no. Oh, Nyland again. That was huge. Okay, get forward. This seems to be happening a lot in this game. We're getting the ball back and then breaking. No, play on. Oh. Oh, it's a second yellow. Bolton are down to 10 men. I didn't even know they had a player on a yellow card. Well, no wonder they stopped the play then. Kind of frustrating because I was on the break, but oh well, it is what it is. Here goes Garbit now. Over the top for Theo. What do you reckon? Just hit it. No. There is no way that's gone in. This keeper is seriously suspect. How? How is that going in? The young Canadian playing out of position as a striker. I think he's found his new role. This is it. He's a striker. The keeper, though. Oh, my. He's got to save that. Okay. I think it's time to make a sub now. 2-1 up. I think I'm going to go ahead and take out Hindman and bring in Cook. And then I'm going to give Paul a go on that right side. Actually, no. Huggins can play as a centre mid. Let's put him in there. And, oh, I didn't put some of the other new players in. Or did I? Who am I missing? Oh, well, either way, I'm going to put... Hmm. I might try... What if I try Theo as a winger? What if I go Garbit on the left, Staunton in the middle, Theo on the right, and then put Hartman up top? See, we've got versatility, guys. We can do that. Joyce is the one that gets sacrificed, but he is not as good as the other players, I would say. So, oh, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Tell you what, Huggins is a centre mid, though. Pretty decent. Here goes Garbit. I mean, completely unchallenged. Oh. Okay, fair play, Dixon. That was a much better save. Corner going to come in now from Staunton. Cargill's there. No, almost a goal for our new captain. No. Oh, they may be down to 10 men, but they're still dangerous. They really are. It's going to be a corner. Hopefully I can win this and get forward and get that third goal. Why do I have a feeling I'm going to need it? Oh, hello. Nicely done, Paul. Let's play this one forward. Flick it on. Oh, here we go. Staunton. He's so slow, though. I'm just going to give it to Theo. Theo can run. And then I'm going to sweat it again. <laughs> yes. That is going to be an opening win for MGH United. Three different scorers, three very different goals. And that is going to be three points on the table. So, so happy with that. I don't know how good Bolton are going to be this season. I don't know where they're, where they're going to be come the end of the season. But right now, I am going to be near the top end of the table. Depends how many other teams have won by two or more goals. But this, this couldn't have gone any better, really. Good debuts. Some goals on debuts. Patino. Theo. So good. Really, really happy with that. Um, not so happy with that pass. But that is game over and the end of this episode. Hopefully you're excited to see what's to come with these players. I think I've made some really good investments. And uh, it's a really good start to the season.